Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and my first one for 2020, and this one is on the Mandalorian Battle Pack. So, on the front of the box, you see the same border as we had since early 2019. Well, I guess for anything that is not Episode 9 or, or whatever, it has this border. You can see a picture of the set that comes with it, and the Disney logo, and right Ragabed ages 6 and up, and set number 75267 has 102 pieces. And on the back, it's in a resting position, how to shoot the stud shooters, and everything. And on to the book, instruction booklet. Same picture as on the front and everything. I think, but still keeping the same small shape as you have with other ones from earlier in the year. But anyways, on the back, have for the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set after the Skywalker Saga game coming up soon. And after the 2020 sets. So ex to expect reviews on these two and that and that and that pretty soon. Or as soon as I can get them. And then after Lego Life and the last steps. Alright. First of all, is this Mandalorian. Well, the little thing is that all these are called Mandalorian uh, warriors in this set. And not individually named because it'd be a little too much hassle, but whatever. So the design of this one, quite interesting. At least good design for the helmet, nice prints around. And these all have the stud shooters, and also, unlike with and all underneath, plain black heads, which all these stormtroopers should have been. Good thing it's not the annoying angry clone face. And the cape piece, just about the same as the Mandalorian himself from the ATST Raider set last year. And also some slight back torso printing, of course. And moving on to this next one. And as you'll see in this set, that two have the same kind of helmet print, but other two also do. Also have the same helmet kind of print, but different coloring. So, on with this one is... Also done quite goodly, but it's that it's gray color with that an orange color print to it, and do have the intent of which, which which you get an array of in a separate bag, like you get with uh, Boba Fett and other Mandalorians. And from the back of which, also kind of the same, but just different coloring to it. And on to one of the best ones is this blue one. And no, not Jango Fett. But however, this bright blue coloring is quite cool, a little interesting. But also interesting is the uh, splatter of purple all on there. Oh wait, there we go. Anyways, purple splatters there. And of course, a couple of scar marks. But all the back torso print, or the leg print, Done kind of similarly to most other Mandalorian figures, like Boba Fett, you know. And then from the back is kind of the same, but with a couple of scratch marks to it. And then each cape in this, of, of all these figures, is the same thick material. Well, I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. And then last but not least is this one. So this pro why I say it's the best one is because. See, it's a green and blue color scheme, but no, the green does not does not mean that it's Boba Fett, but whatever. But although, well, the like print of which done quite similarly to this other one of which, but just different coloring. Oh, and the first one of which didn't have any like prints of which. Not sure why that is, but whatever. 
Oh, of course, a couple more things as well. And underneath, also kind of the same prints, but different coloring. And uh, what else is that? And yeah, that is about it with this one. So first of all, for the build, is first get this like uh, rocky grotto debris debris thing. You see, with a lot of uh, jagged slopes and small slopes, but also a couple of those the or just one or a couple of those special modified bricks to it. And also do get a little clip thing on there so you can clip one of the stud shooters onto it. But also what the one by one jumper there is for it is so you can stick one of the stud shooters onto it like so. And also enough space to fit one here of mini pigs onto it like so. Although and onto the main build of this, which is this little speeder. Okay. Although these two builds, are which kind of reminiscent of the uh, Mandalorian battle pack from uh, 2011 Clone Wars, but at least it's a little different because, anyways, more of that in the verdict. But also haven't seen this since the uh, Rebel Troopers battle pack from Rogue One in 2017. But onto the speeder itself is some kind of similar shaping to that 2011 one, but with dark tan and dark gray and light gray and little accents of black, of course. There's a little asymmetry for that. I'm not sure why that is, but I think it kind of works with it. Same with the other slopes on the sides, which lead to stud shooters, of course. And you get a, another cone piece acting as a jet to it. And a little light in front, which I also have to assume that the 2011 version might have also had, but not sure though. And also, of course, there is enough space to fit one of your mini figs onto it, like so. And do fit quite nicely and look just about to scale. And so now on to with the final verdict. So my overall verdict is this which I think a great battle pack, at least. Although it does not have much of the army building factor to it as most of the other battle packs do. But at least this one can kind of work out. So you can like, although you can like kind of swap pieces of the mini figs to make different Mandalorians, troopers, build an army and whatnot. But at least four different characters, which which we don't see in battle packs, except for a couple of ones in 2016, that is. But at least they're all not named characters in that. But also get two little builds in it, which we don't see very much in battle packs, but so at least it's one of the best ones. Although, and uh, although great to have this, of which being yet another set for the Mandalorian, alongside the ATST Raider from last year, which does include the Mandalorian himself in it. And well, if you have that one and want to get this set to add on to it, well, worth go ahead and get it and let's hope that the razor crest and a couple others will be the next set for the mandalorian in the next couple waves and well and if you're looking to get this set for your mandalorian collection well also go ahead and pick it up and that is it with this video please and thanks for watching